Welcome to Barbecue Today. I'm your host, Eric Riches, and today I'm going to be making a recipe from my kebabs cookbook. It's a maple and sage pork kebab. So hang on, let's get started. Now the kebabs have kind of gotten a bad rap over the years. People think maybe they're too hard or they just don't turn out very good. Um, but kebabs can be absolutely fantastic if you choose the right kinds of meat and you prepare them correctly. Now, a lot of times with pork kebabs, people use pork tenderloin or pork loin. These are very lean meats. And that's kind of part of the problem. They tend to dry out and get tough really easily. So I like to use pork butt. Um, this has a lot of fat in it and it's kind of a complicated piece of meat. We've got a bone running through here. We've got some chunks of fat, but we can trim this up and get our nice meat cubes that will go perfect on our skewers. So I'm going to get trimming. Okay, so um, this is our pork butt broken down. We've got our fat and our bone, and we got our meat. Um, look for getting some nice uniform chunks. Uh, some of them will kind of roll them up as we skewer them. What we want is to have a little bit of fat left behind. That's gonna give us a lot of flavor, um, but we don't want big chunks of it. So that's what's in here. And now we're gonna to put together a marinade. Don't worry about writing this down. The recipe is in uh, the description down below, but my marinade is going to be half a cup of orange juice, a quarter cup of maple syrup, two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of um, brown sugar, and we got salt, pepper, and just a little bit of cayenne. This is gonna give us a nice little bit of heat. And then we want some nice fresh sage. I'm just gonna give this a bit of a rough chop here. Some people say to kind of bruise it up a bit that gets the essential oils out. Just give this a little bit of a mix. Now this is very straightforward marinade recipe. We have acid, orange juice, we have oil, olive oil, and then we've got our salt and pepper and our other flavors. Now what we want to do with this is we want to pour off about a third of a cup. And making a bit of a mess. And then we're gonna take the rest of it, combine it with our pork in a nice zip top bag, and put it in the refrigerator for about four hours. When you marinate in a bag like this, get the air out as much as possible. periodically over the course of the next couple hours if you think about it come by give it a little bit of a flip that'll help help get the flavors all around all right so my pork here has been marinating for about four hours i've turned it over a few times make sure it gets those flavors evenly distributed and now it's time to do some skewering this is usually the part of the process most people find the most uh, burdensome. Now, I like to use metal skewers, and for two reasons. One, because they last, you know, I just throw them away. And two, because, well, they're metal. They are going to conduct heat. 
down through the center, which actually helps our kebab cook more evenly and quicker. Now, if you are using bamboo skewers, they always say, soak them in water, 30 minutes. Well, I've done that hundreds of times, and I'll tell you what, it buys you about 30 seconds of intense heat, and that's about it. They're gonna burn, uh, unless you're very careful. One trick uh, to prevent bamboo skewers from from burning is to lay a sheet of aluminum foil over underneath where the exposed part's going to be. This will keep your skewers intact. Um, so let's get skewering. Now, we wanna work through our meat from end to end. Now, one of the biggest problems that people have when they do kebabbing is that they press the meat really tightly together. Um, this is gonna slow its cooking process. So I don't, you don't necessarily need a gap, but keep the pieces of meat loose. Don't pack it tightly. And just fill it from end to end. There's no point in leaving a lot of space on the ends. Um, you wanna be in a good half inch from the pointy side because, well, you don't want things falling off. Now, some of our pieces of meat, I got nice, good cubes. There's gonna be some loose pieces. After all, trying to cut a piece of meat that's got a big bone running through it into perfectly square pieces, well, that's a bit of a challenge. So I'm just gonna finish skewering these up and then we'll get the grill lit. Okay, so my grill is up to about 400 degrees. Today I'm cooking on my big green egg because, well, I love charcoal. It's great for everything. Now, I'm just gonna go in, get my kebabs layered on here. I wanna have a little bit of spacing between each kebab so that the heat can work its way around. Now, if you think of a kebab as having four sides, not two, then what you want to do is you want to turn it a quarter of a turn every time. About two minutes per side is going to be perfect. You can use an instant read thermometer, which I encourage you to do just to make sure that you're getting your meat up to proper temperature. With pork, we're looking for an internal temperature around 145 degrees. We're using metal skewers that's going to conduct heat through them. So um, it shouldn't take long at all. So I'm turning now for the second time or onto the third side of the kebab. Now, if you remember right, I'm gonna adjust these around a little bit for a little bit more even cooking. Now, if you remember, I saved back about a third of a cup of my marinade. I then took, uh, took it out of the refrigerator and I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds so it's not cold. You don't want to baste with cold liquids. It's just gonna slow down the cooking process. So I'm just gonna throw a little bit of this on here for a little extra flavor. I will do that again. Uh, after the next turn in about 90 seconds. Okay, so my kebabs are done. I've basted a couple of times and turned them over as planned. You can tell by the firmness in the meat that they're cooked right. And well, they look delicious. That's a great recipe. I encourage you to try it out. Uh, I love the maple flavor on here with the sage. Like I said, it's one of my favorite like breakfast kebabs. It's just so much better than like sausage. So the recipe for these kebabs uh, is down below in the description. You can also find it in my book. 75 kebab recipes in there. They're all fantastic. If I do say so myself. Um, I hope you like this video. It's 100 degrees up side in Austin, Texas right now, so <clears throat> I'm glad to be indoors. Um, if you like this video, I'd appreciate you actually 
expressing that down below with a little thumbs up there. And if you want to find out more about barbecue and grilling, uh, subscribe to my video. I'll be back.